How's it going, everybody? Got some more gameplay here for you. This is a new game for me. This is uh, Tribes Ascend, the open beta that's currently going on. Uh, yes, open beta, so this is a free free game right now. And I think it's actually going to be a free-to-play title. Um, I'll throw a link down there so you can check it out. Basically, this is a uh, first-person shooter with a very interesting sort of aspect to it and that you basically ski around rather than walking. Uh, the combination of skis and a jetpack, you just sort of glide around, ski around, it's really, really, uh, really unique, really interesting. And surprisingly accessible. This is actually like my fourth match, like period, like ever. And I'm getting the hang of it. It's very, very intuitive. Basically, um, what you do is you hold space to activate the skis. And anytime you go downhill, you gain momentum. Anytime you go uphill, you lose momentum. Those little bars on the side of the screen at this point are showing my uh, momentum velocity, basically. Um, and then you combine the skis with your jetpack whenever you go over a ledge, or not a ledge, a, uh, an incline. You basically want to use your jetpack to keep your momentum going. And you can go really fast. Now combine this with the fact that most of the weapons are not hit scanned, meaning you sort of have to predict where your enemy is going to be and fire beforehand, versus you know you just you have your crosshair over them and it automatically hits them. You got some pretty uh, pretty interesting first person shooter gameplay here. It's very very skill based, but at the same time, like I said, it's very very intuitive. Your jetpack is actually your right click on the mouse by default, so it's very easy to manage your skiing, jetpacking, and shooting at the same time. And flag capture, thank you very much. I do sort of engage beast mode in this match. This is the best match I've had so far, so I figured I would use that. I end up getting like a uh, past killing spree. They call it like a classic spree or something. I have no idea what that means. But my final score is like 8 kills, no deaths, and 6 assists or something. Um, this is capture the flag mode, by the way. You're Usually in this game, it seems to me like you're not going to see, you know, 25 kills and that sort of thing. Like, top players on the teams usually will have around 10 kills in general. In my experience, like I said, I haven't played this a ton. But this game is a jolly good time. I recommend you check it out. Um, you do need to create an account for it, however, there's no sort of launcher or anything. Like, uh, you have to create an account with the, for the game company, or whoever's releasing this. Unfortunately, the name of that is slipping my mind this time. But basically, you only need that to, uh, install the game and to play it, obviously, but there's no, you know, uh, Epic Games launcher or games for Windows Live or any Origin or anything like that, so there's really no reason not to check this game out. Um, if you watch Total Biscuit, he plays this game a lot, and he was the one who actually, seeing him play it, made me want to kind of check it out, and I'm glad I did. Really only took me like one match to get used to the whole skiing mechanics. And while there are a lot of people that are very, very good at this game, and it is very skill-based, like I said, there are still a lot of uh, newbie players, like myself included, I guess. Um, so it's not totally like a hostile environment for a beginner. See ya. Um, there are a number of classes in this game. I'm using the Pathfinder, I believe, which is the default light class. And you can unlock classes, weapons, etc. with uh, experience or tribes gold. And tribes gold is basically you pay real money for this, this stuff. So it's sort of like, uh, that's how they monetize it, basically, is by buying tribes gold. Um, I haven't looked into that. I'm not really sure if, if I'm going to be doing that. Probably not, but maybe if I start playing this game a whole lot. As far as I know, there aren't really any things that you can uh, buy that you can't just unlock normally. So there's not really much of a balancing issue there. 
It's definitely not pay to win, that's for sure. Boom, killing spree. This lovely little weapon here is called a spin fuser, and it's a lot of fun to use. One thing about this game is that because a lot of times it is really hard to actually hit people, it is incredibly satisfying to just nail somebody with one of these things. And every kill just feels like, yeah, that was awesome, you know what I mean? Gotcha. So you'll see in the bottom left hand corner, <clears throat> the green bar is my health, and the blue bar is my energy. And that goes down when I use my jetpack, but then, you know, we'll start regenerating when I let it off. So it requires uh, you to really carefully manage your energy. If you just, you know, hold down your jetpack all the time, you're going to get stuck and you're going to get picked off right away. So each class has um, a variety of things you can unlock for it. Like I'm using basically the default equipment right now with a couple upgrades. Like I have increased ammo capacity on the spin fuser here and um, like better energy regen on my armor, I think. Everything else is uh, default, but you can get like instead of the shotgun, which I was using a little bit ago, you can have like an assault rifle and other things, and they're, all the classes are different, so, like there's a sniper class, an infiltrator, which is sort of your spy-ish class, there's an engineer, and I can't really talk about those at any length because this is the main class that I've been using, and I'm liking it a ton, so for now I'm just going to be sticking with it. There definitely seems to be a good balance between the light and heavy classes, because it does take several hits to take down a heavy. But at the same time, you know, it's hard for them to hit you, so... It's not one of those games where one class really seems incredibly overpowered or anything. I remember this kill right here. I got, like, three really good shots on this guy and then ended up getting an assist. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, not too much more to say about this game. Uh, like I said, free to play. Um, with, you know you can buy an XP boost or buy equipment, sort of like the Team Fortress model a little bit. Not exactly. Um, heck of a lot of fun. Something very different. It's not just, you know, another... another Call of Duty, you know, Battlefield, that sort of thing. It's something very, very different, so... If you are in the mood to try something new, I would recommend giving this game a look. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I probably will be posting more gameplay of this. Um, like I said, I'm enjoying it a heck of a lot. So, uh, I'm going to get my classic spree right here. Whatever the heck that means. And uh, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video, whatever that may be. Till then.